Hello and welcome to Light Bearers. So today we will calculate for the short span of the slab. Remember, in our last class, I taught us how to get the moment coefficient, which is dsx, for positive moment at mid span. So now let's find the design ultimate moment of the slab, msx. msx equals bsx times n times lx squared. dsx is the moment coefficient of the slab. n is the design load of the slab. We treated this in our first class. And then lx squared is the short span or short side of the slab. Now let's substitute the equation. We have 0 0.02 multiplied by 10.24 multiplied by c squared. Which gives us 7.37 kilonewton meter. Now let's find the effective depth of the slab. But before that, let me draw the side view of the slab. This is the plan view of the slab. So this is the side view of the slab. The thickness of the slab is H. Now this is how the slab is being reinforced. Now, the effective depth of this slab is the height from the top of the slab to the center of the main bar. This is the main bar. This dot, 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 dot is the distribution bar. So from here to half of the main bar is D. So how do we get the effective depth? Effective depth D equals H minus the concrete cover minus half of the main bar. So we have 150 minus, our concrete cover is 25, minus half of the bar, which is 12. So our effective depth is 119 millimeters. Now, in clause 3.4.4.4 of the BS code, K prime equals 1.56. So now let's find K. K equals MSX all over FCU BD squared. Now note, if the value of K is greater than K prime, that means compression reinforcement is required. So we we'll continue with K prime. But if the value of K is less than K prime, that means compression reinforcement is not required. So we will continue with K. So now let's substitute into the equation. We have 7.37 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 all over 25 multiplied by 1,000 multiplied by 119 squared. B is 1,000 because we design per square meter. So now we have... Zero point zero two. So zero point zero two is less than one point five six. So we'll continue with K. Now let's find the lever arm of the slab. Lever arm Z equals 
0 0.5 plus square root of 0 0.25 minus k all over 0 0.9 close bracket d. Now, substituting to the equation, we have z equals 0 0.5 plus square root of 0 0.25 minus 0 0.02 all over 0 0.9 close bracket d. Which gives us 0 0.97 d now in class 3.4.4.4 of the bs code if z is greater than 0 0.95 d we would adopt z to be 0 0.95 d so z equals 0 0.95 d so we have 0 0.95 multiplied by 119 which gives us 113.05 millimeters. Now let's find the area of steel required. So AS required equals M all over 0 0.95 FYZ. So substituting we have 7.37 times 10 to the power 6 all over 0 0.95 multiplied by 410 multiplied by 113.05 which gives us 167.37 millimeter squared now let's calculate for the spacing of the bars Spacing equals pi multiplied by diameter of steel squared all over 4 multiplied by 1000 all over AS required. So substituting we have 3.142 multiplied by 12 squared all over 4 times 1,000 all over So our spacing equals 675.8 millimeters. So the spacing of the bars is way too much. So now let's adopt two hundred and fifty millimeters. Now Let's find area of steel provided. Area of steel provided equals pi times diameter of steel squared all over 4 
times 1000 all over spacing. So we have 3.142 multiplied by 12 squared all over 4 times 1000 all over 250. which gives us 452.4 millimeter square. So now, for positive moment at mid-span, provide Y12 at 250 millimeter center to center spacing, open bracket, 452.4 millimeter squared area. <laughs> 